Hi, I'm Velikovsky of Newcastle, and this is Philosopoly. This is a small version of the board. Notice how this Fibonacci spiral is larger there. I don't know if you're getting that, but there's a little one, and there's a big one. Anyway, good old Fibonacci spiral. So a closer look at the board, you got space number one. Here's the void where everybody starts, like here and here or whatever. First space is the pre-Socratics, Thales of Miletus. And you got next space is Confucius. The Socratics, there's good old Socrates drinking some poison. Buddha, moving around, Marcus Aurelius. Then we got the Dark Ages, Descartes, Hume, Uncle Karl Popper, Dennett and Bostrom, and the last, lucky last spot, Irvin Laszlo Systems Theory. First, you want to choose a player token because everyone starts here in the void with their token. So you can choose from Popper's Swamp, Russell's Teapot, Occam's Razor, Plutarch's Ship, or wait, is it Neurath's Ship? Because they both talked about that ship. You know when you start out with a ship and travel for six months on the sea and you change every board when it arrives at the new continent is it still the same ship i don't know it's a good question systems philosophy hume's fork is another one that one's just the same it's got a barbecue fork there you can be bacon's b or plato's cave Floridi's Pyramid or Naked Philosophy Guy. There he is again. I actually have a cartoon strip called Naked Philosophy Guy. That's a whole other story. Anyway, each player chooses a token. So let's say Popper's Swamp and Plutarch's Ship. We all start in the void. Somebody goes first, moving to the pre Socratics up there. So let's get this game underway. So. Somebody goes first. Um, you can go first, Mum. If you want to move yours to the first spot. Yep. Good. The pre Socratics. And then I pick up this card and read out whatever's on the back, the question. And if Mum gets it right, or well, the other player, <laughs> it might not always be Mum, <laughs> um, they move forward a space and everybody else moves back a space except if you're in the void I'm here, I'm Popper's Swamp, I'm still in the void but if you're in the void you just stay in the void anyway I'm going to read out this question from the pre-Socratics Thales of Miletus and it says yay random chance move forward two spaces everyone else stays put so mum goes forward one two she's on the Socratics Got to love random chance. Put that at the bottom of the pile. Now it's my go. So I'm going to go 
onto the first place. Mum picks up one of those cards and reads out the question. Was Thales the first official Western philosopher? I'm going to say yes. Correct. Correct. So I move forward one space and everybody else moves. Sorry, Mum, yeah, back. come back one space. Now we're both on Confucius. So now it's Mum's go and I have to ask Mum this question. Is that right? Yep. You have to or, ask No, me. you have to move. Yeah, sorry. You have to move first. So you're going to end up there. Because it's your go, you've got to move. So yeah. Good. And I'll ask this question. The Socratics. Ready? Let's ask this question. See if Mum knows it. Yay, random chance. Move forward. Two spaces. Yep. Gotta love the random chance. And everybody else stays put, so now it's my go. I have my go. I go forward. Mum's going to ask me one of them, Socratics. Who said strong minds discuss ideas, average minds discuss events, weak minds discuss people? I'm going to take a guess and say Socrates. Socrates is right. Because sometimes it is the person who's square you're on, but some, or shape you're on. But sometimes it's not. So that's so right. So if I got that right, I do I go forward a space yes. now? Yeah. And you go. Everyone else goes back a space. Now we're both on Buddha. Now it's your go. Yeah. And I got to ask you a Marcus Aurelius question, Mum. I don't know it. This one here. <laughs> I haven't asked it yet. <laughs> Who did Aristotle say invented the dialectic? And Russell said, laid the foundations of logic. Stop peeking at the question. I don't know. No, I didn't know this either. Zeno of Elia. So, that's what the card says anyway. Have a look if you don't believe me. Did Aristotle say invented the dialectic? And Russell said, laid the foundations of That's a good one to think about. Yeah. Zeno of Elia. Apparently so. So, you. You've so got to move back a space because you got that wrong. I got to go forward four. a space because it's a zero sum game. So now I'm on Marcus Aurelius. You got to ask me that. D Diogenes of Sinope was in what school of philosophy? I'm going to say the Stoics because I wrote the questions and I remember some of them. Is it the Stoics? <laughs> It's C Y N I C. So oh, whoops, the cynics. cynics. Wow, that was a bad guess. Um, so I got that wrong, and I go back, and you, everyone else goes forward. Yeah, I'm losing again. Good fun. Anyway, thanks for saying that, Mum. Um, anyway, that's the general idea, and you just keep playing until somebody gets to systems philosophy, Irvin Laszlo, and gets that right. And if they get it right, they win. And you've learnt stuff about philosophy. So, so there you go. Your next question would be, who said freeing oneself from words is liberation? <laughs> Helen Keller? No, I don't know. Uh, Bod. 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 Uh, Bodhidharma? Yeah. Huh. Bodhidharma. That guy. Yeah. Yeah have to play. We'll play it a bit more often and then we might learn something. <laughs> Unreal. I Thanks, might Mom. learn something. You won if we stop playing now. Thank you you're... for all the random chances. <laughs> Thanks, Mum.